guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be testing out some new makeup products. I have a lot of drugstore things and I also just got this new Anastasia Dream Glow Kit in the mail yesterday, so I'm really excited to play around with this. I have almost everything for a full face. I think the only thing I don't have is a new concealer because I haven't seen really any brand new drugstore or hand concealers that are like super popular. And then also I don't have a new powder, but other than that everything else is pretty much new. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I upload three new videos every single week. And also, as always, don't forget to grab a snack. Here on my channel we always grab snacks before watching my videos because usually they are pretty long. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are starting off with some new bra products which is really big for me because you guys know I use a lot of the same stuff pretty consistently. So I got this, actually I showed this in a haul a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to testing it out. This is the Kiss Beautiful Brow Stamp. It just looks like this. I got this at, where did I get this? Target, but I just went to Walmart today and they actually had it at Walmart as well. So basically it says mess free, never struggle with brows again, which if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know that I've struggled with my brows for years. I even thought about microblading, but I've seen some disaster videos and I'm kind of like skeptical about it. I think I'd rather just fill them in instead of getting microblading to be honest, but I'm going to just test this out and see what happens. I'm kind of nervous because I don't really use stuff like this. It's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. So this is the brow stamp from what I see, and then these are the little brow thingies. I don't know. I need to read the directions. Okay. It's so weird though because the way that this is shaped, it's kind of shaped with a natural brow art already, and my brows don't really look like that, so I feel like that's going to be kind of a fail, but we're going to give it a chance. Oh, okay, so this is what it looks like. It's like a brown color. Um, this one is just in the shade dark brown. Personally, when I saw this, I didn't see any other colors, so I don't know if there's like lighter colors or darker colors, but we are going to <laughs> just find out. I'm not sure if you can use this more than once. If you can't, that's kind of a rip off. So I'm going to dip in here. So it says press. Okay, I'm getting like no color. Barely any color. It says be sure your skin is moisturized with primer or liquid foundation. They don't know that I do my brows before. The only amount of color that I got. Okay, I'm gonna just go with this. So, press it. I mean, I got some color. Okay, no. <laughs> this is a fail. Like, honestly, what I'm doing now, actually, for this one, what I decided to do was kind of like rub instead of pressing, because when you press, you really don't get much color, like, at all. This is a fail. Do you see that? I'd honestly rather just fill in my brows. I thought this was going to be different. I kind of knew that it was going to be kind of a gimmick though. Because stuff like this, I mean, okay, honestly, <laughs> this does not work. I personally don't like it. I mean, this looks like some good, like this is like brow powder. So I guess you could use this as like just brow powder. But honestly, <sighs> this is not for me. Um, I'd rather just fill in my brows just the way that I always do. Because this is just... It just doesn't work. So let's just wipe this off. It was worth a shot though, right? Like I kind of knew it wasn't going to work, but I kind of at the same time had some high hopes. Besides that, I don't really have any other new brow products, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up my brows in really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. I know they look a little crazy and dark, but I think they're gonna look better once the whole makeup is done. Hopefully. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just start off with eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this Hard Candy Palette. This is the Look Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and this one is in number 1339. Obviously, I was so intrigued because of the neutrals, and these colors right here looked so pretty, all these shimmers. So we're gonna be playing around with this. This is like the one of the only drugstore palettes that I've never tried. I was actually looking for the new CoverGirl like peach palette that they have in L'Oreal, but they didn't have them at my local drugstores. So I just settled with this just to try it out because I was like, these look pretty good. So let me just test them out. I'm gonna be using this color right here, which let's touch it. Ooh, it feels really soft. It's just like a nice like cream color, and I'm gonna use that right now. It's a really nice color. So I'm going to just start off by using this transition color right here. And I'm going to be applying that right into the crease. Using my Sigma E40 blending brush. A lot of my makeup brushes are dirty. And I'm dipping into other brushes that I haven't used in a long time. And this is one of those brushes. And just run that right in the crease.
I wish there was like a darker brown, but there isn't. So I'm going to just use the black and I'm going to dip in here a little bit. That's how much color I get. And I'm going to just apply that on the outer part of the crease just to kind of deepen this up a little bit. Wow, this palette is like blending out a lot better than what I thought, honestly. So as I go, I'm also blending that crease out because I don't want this to get too harsh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm honestly just going with it. I really want to keep playing with black because it seems really nice for like a drugstore black eyeshadow. It's not super super black like obviously it has like you know a little bit of gray to it like I have yet to find like a true super black eyeshadow but it's pretty nice I take this color right up here it's almost like a silver it's like a taupe I guess you could say it's really pretty it feels really soft just like dipping my finger in it This is a really pretty color though. I really like it. It's like a silver, but it's like not a true silver. It's a little bit darker and I'm kind of digging it. I'm gonna go back and kind of blend out the edges of that on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing. This is the Sigma, what is this called? <laughs> a liquid pen eyeliner. I've never used this before. It looks like a really nice, like, precise pen. The pen itself is a little stiff. It's not very flexible, but it's super black. <laughs> I love how everybody's always like, please do a winged liner tutorial, and I'm over here like struggling to like do my own winged liner. This is difficult. This is a really nice black eyeliner, but it's just the tip of it isn't super flexible. <laughs> so I just fixed my liner. I think it looks a little bit better. It's not perfect. It's never perfect, but I actually kind of really like this. I mean, you have to play around with it a little bit. I have to kind of pull at my eyes to get it to be like super precise, which is such a bad habit, but that usually happens whenever I do work with pen liners, but I really like how black and matte it is. Like this is a really nice formula. I'm going to do falsies today. These are not super brand new. I know that there are some new lashes you guys were telling me about. I personally haven't seen them at any of my drugstores, so I've never tried, I don't think at least, that I've tried this style. This is the Lux Silk, what is this, Trillion Lashes. So while the lash glue dries, I'm gonna move into skin. So I've personally never tried this before. This is the Urban Decay Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I guess pretty much just like a Smashbox primer water. I love primer sprays, especially in the summer because I feel like my makeup tends to get a little bit more cakey in the summer because of the heat. So I always like to use products like this because it prevents it from happening so much and looking like so heavy. So let's spray it. <laughs> This spritzer though, I really like the way that sprayed on my face and it smells really nice. Hmm, it's really hydrating. I also do have this primer from Essence. This is the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. It's a healthy glow, pore minimizing effect with vitamin complex and cranberry. So this was actually sent to me in PR, but Essence is one of my favorite drugstore brands because it's super affordable, just like Wet n Wild. You can get it at Ulta. I'm trying out a new foundation, so I'm only going to use this on one side of my face. Ooh. Damn. This is really light. Mmm. This smells really good, though. I'm only going to apply this on the bottom of my face because I'm already, like, super oily and stuff on my forehead, so I don't really need the extra hydration. Look at how fresh my skin looks. Oh my gosh. That looks really nice. It feels super hydrating. It doesn't look like there's any glitter in it, which is really nice. I don't really see much with like pore minimizing. I kind of just see definitely the healthy glow effect, not so much pore minimizing. I actually have two new foundations. One is the Maybelline Satin Mousse Foundation, and the other one is this Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation. I think I'm going to go with this one because 
I've never tried this and I've never actually seen this anywhere so I was really pumped about this I got two shades which always sucks with Revlon um, besides the Revlon color stay foundation other foundations that they've tried I've never really had much luck with them for the most part and the shades are always so weird so I got shade 175 and 240 this is apparently a matte foundation it says full coverage up to 24 hour no caking or fading lightweight blends seamlessly we shall see about that. 175 seems very yellowy, and 240 is honestly the other shade that I felt like could maybe potentially work. It's a little bit more pinky, but hopefully I can make it work. It's kind of like moussey. Maybe this color is actually going to match me. All right, I'm going to do one side with a brush. I'm going to use, this is actually new for me too, the Sigma 3 HD Max Kabuki brush. I've never used this before. Now I know I just use a luminizing primer for a matte foundation, but I usually always mix my products. Let me pop all my lashes real quick. This foundation is way too white for me. I'm definitely gonna have to mix in the other shade, which is 240. It's like one of those foundations that it's just like, it's just sitting on top of your face. Like nothing's happening. It's not really covering much up because it literally just looks like a cakey mess. The shades are just off. I thought that maybe mixing them could potentially be a good match, but I think not. These are too light. The 175 one is way too light for me. I'm going to take this off. And then the other one was just a little too light as well, and it's way too pink. So let's not do that. It's funny because it literally says on the back of the foundation, like, no cake face. And, like, that's truly cake face. Okay, so I have the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. I was actually trying to find other reviews on this foundation. And I only saw, like, a few. And these were pretty old. Um, so I'm not really sure if this foundation is, like, uh, reformulated or anything like that. I'm not really sure. But apparently this is for dry skin. Because it says it's a foundation plus hydrating serum. And I usually really like Maybelline foundation, so hopefully this is a good match. This is what the packaging looks like. I found mine at Walmart, and this one's in the shade 75. Usually Maybelline foundations are a way better, like, color match for me because, like, the colors that they have really are, like, very versatile. I'm not even going to use that Essence Primer because it's, like, super glowy, and I don't really know if I want to use that today. It's really pretty, but I, uh, no. Let's just apply this bare. Okay, see, this already feels so much better than that other foundation that I was applying um, I don't know how the color is going to be, but we are going to make it work. This already feels super lightweight. That other one, it just felt like I had put 30 layers of foundation on. Like, it's just not a good look. Let me apply, actually, the other side with a beauty blender or sponge, actually. This is from LA Girl. Maybelline usually never disappoints with foundations. I think the only foundation I really didn't like for Maybelline was like the cushion, but this is really nice. I like the coverage and it is pretty hydrating. It doesn't feel really dewy though. Like the dewy and smooth is way more dewy, but it does feel really nice and comfortable. But I think this color is a lot more reasonable than the other one that I was using. So, so far, so good. That's what it looks like on my skin. I really like it and this foundation was super affordable it was under ten dollars which i think is great just because a lot of drugstore prices have really gone up within the past like couple of years especially face products so this looks really good so i mentioned earlier i don't really have a new concealer i forgot i had this strobing and contouring palette from essence that i'm gonna give a shot let's try it out usually i don't like concealers like this for underneath the eyes they just tend to get really cakey for me but for the sake of the video, we're going to test it out. So I'm going to just use, oh, just kidding. I can't use these because I think these are strobing concealers and they're going to have shimmer in them. Just kidding. I'm going to use a different concealer. I'm going to use that for contouring though, so give me a minute. I really hope this video isn't a fail. I'm really hoping. I'm going to just use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer. And I have this one in the shade, what shade is this in? light. Ooh, I think, I hope these don't have shimmer in them, but I'm going to use this color and I'm going to mix it a little bit with the shade right next to it. I'm going to use the other side of the It Cosmetics brush. 
Ooh, this seems really red. Uh, maybe it'll work. It's actually a lot creamier than what it looks like. Sometimes palettes like this don't really go on super creamy on the skin, but this is okay. I'm just going to use my LA Girl sponge just to kind of blend this out. That blended out really nice. I'm impressed. Leave me some new concealers down below that you guys love or that you want me to test out. I haven't really heard too much with new concealers. I usually just hear people using the same ones and I use a lot of the same ones. So as I mentioned, I don't have a new powder. I just don't have like a brand spanking new one that I've never used before. So I'm going to just use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and this one is in the shade Claire Light. And for bronzer, I got this one actually from TJ Maxx. This is the Smashbox Bronze Light Powder and this one's in the shade Warm Matte. It just looks like a really nice color and I'm going to use this to set the contour. Ooh, this is a nice color. It literally is a warm matte shade. It's very bronzy. I like it. Ooh, I really love this bronzer. I'm not really sure if this is limited edition or what, but like I said, I found it at TJ Maxx. If I can find it online, I will link it for you guys. I really love the face products that I used. Um, the foundation, I actually really like the way it's looking. I love the... Essence Little Cream Contour Palette. This is really nice. Blended out really well and the bronzer is on point. I really, really like that. So I actually don't have like a new blush. So what I'm going to do is just use this, actually another new bronzer that I got when I showed in my TJ Maxx haul. This is the Shea Moisture Illuminating Powder. I would never use this to contour, probably just bronze the skin because it has a little bit of like a gold undertone sheen to it. So I'm going to use this as blush today because I really like bronzy colors like this. Ooh, this is so pigmented, oh my gosh. Kind of reminds me of the Toasted Cinnamon Blush from Burt's Bees, which is one of my favorites. Then for highlighter, I have this new Anastasia, whoop, wrong way, <laughs> Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. This is very different than what I typically go for. First of all, the packaging is really cute, but like as far as the colors, they are super, super different. I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these. Ooh. Do you see them? They're like holographic. That is what those look like. As you can see, they are super different. They're kind of like... Oh my gosh, do you hear the rain? It is really coming down. I'm going to go in right here with this shade Wish. And I'm going to mix it with this color right up here, which is called Sunshine and Magic. I'm going to be using a Sigma F03. I've never used this brush before. There's a huge thunderstorm right now outside, so if you hear something, that's what it is. Ooh, this is really pretty. I usually really love Anastasia's glow kits. Anytime Anastasia comes out with new palettes, for the most part, I would say like 80% of the time, I usually always purchase. It's really fun, I think. Again, probably not an ideal palette, like, if you're going to work or something. I mean, if you're into that, I mean, I'm into that, you know? But, it is really pretty. It's very intense. I usually, I'm never disappointed with Anastasia as far as their highlighters go. They're really buttery. I'm going to take this color right in here, and I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. It's like a brown, but it has some shimmer in it. I don't really... I think I want to do too much black under here. I'm going to just line my waterline with the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil and this one is just in the shade black. I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I recently just got a bunch of these new LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. I got all the colors and I've never tried this color. I'm kind of testing them out. This one's in Sugar and Spice. I usually don't like wooden lip pencils like these, but this one is actually really nice because it's not too hard on the lips. It's actually super creamy and easy to work with. So then for gloss, I got the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. 
this nude color though. This one is in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, and these are like peppermint, which I love. So creamy. It doesn't feel sticky, which I really like. I hate sticky lip glosses. I'm just going to use the same primer spray from Urban Decay that I used earlier to set my makeup. Alright, so that completes this look. I'm going to do a quick little rundown on the products, what I liked, what I didn't like, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know. So the first thing that I absolutely hated was that Kiss Brow Stamp. I kind of figured that it was going to be kind of just like a gimmicky thing, and I didn't really have too high hopes for it. I ended up just tossing it because I know I'm not going to reuse it. I mean, I guess if you did have it and you like brow powders you could always keep the brow stamp thing and just use the brow powder but I'm not a fan of brow powders personally I like pomades and pencils and that color is just completely off anyways so for me hard pass. Another hard pass for me is this Revlon foundation. I might use it again or I might just end up returning it because just for me having it on my face I know that it's not going to work. It's so thick and cakey. It feels like I have so many layers of foundation on and I hate that feeling especially in the summer. I'm like who wants to feel like that? So this shade also is just awful. The 175 is way too light and the other one which is 240 is just way too light as well and I thought it was going to be like a perfect match mixing them but this is is really pinky so it just doesn't work for my skin those are pretty much the only two products that I really wasn't a huge fan of honestly everything else I'm obsessed with I love the Maybelline foundation I think it looks really beautiful I'll leave a pinned comment letting you guys know how it wore throughout the rest of the day but I honestly really love it so far it's really nice medium coverage I didn't build it up just because knock on wood I haven't been breaking out a whole lot I was breaking out actually and then I started drinking more water and it's like BAM like water is just magic so I do really like the foundation I really also love this little essence kit this was super creamy a lot more creamy than what I expected it blended out like unlike no other I mean you guys saw that I really really like this so I will continue to use this because I think that for the price you can't beat it and I'm really into cream contouring lately so this I love lashes I'm obsessed with and these are perfect for this look they're not too dramatic but they're dramatic enough and I love this luxe silk line from uh Ilore. I just had a brain fart I love this line I think the lashes in here are beautiful and I'm obsessed with Ilore. I've been talking about them for years on my channel they're amazing I'm super impressed with this hard candy eyeshadow palette. I know I didn't play with all the shades, but I really like what I used so far. I think the shadows are creamy, they're easy to blend, they're pigmented, and for the price, I mean, I like this look. It's nothing crazy. I know it's kind of basic, but I really, really like this palette so far, so I will keep you posted. You'll know if I love it if you see it in more tutorials. Personally, really do like this Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Now, this obviously is not an ideal palette. Like, if you don't like colors that are holographic and very, like, pinky, purpley, you know, duochrome type colors, you're not going to like this palette because it's not your ideal, like, everyday champagne colored palette. You know what I mean? It's definitely different, but I do really like it. I've been into colors like this lately. I think they're really fun for summer. Even though it is super, like, intense, you can still see. I mean, it's still wearable. It looks pretty. It's just, I feel like, personal preference depending on how you like your highlights to look. If you don't like highlighters that are this color, you're not going to like this palette. So freaking obsessed with these bronzers. They are beautiful. Like I can't say enough good things about them. They're so smooth and buttery on the skin and I really can see myself continuing to use this Shea Moisture Bronzer as a blush and then this to contour. It's just perfection. Like I cannot, cannot get enough of it. I can't wait to keep using it because I'm obsessed with the formula on my skin and the way that it looks. This Essence Primer was actually really pretty. I just think I applied way too much but I really liked the way it made my skin look like you saw how just intense it is I mean I usually really love primers like this because they just make your skin look so healthy like you're glowing from within this I love. I know I wiped it off, but I still really liked it from what I used. So overall, I think I had a lot of really great products in today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these. What are your thoughts? I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye!